This episode of Gadget Gurus is brought to you by Audible.com, the Internet's largest and leading provider of digital audiobooks and audio content. For your free 30-day trial, visit audiblepodcast.com slash TV. So, Jeff, this kind of sounds like um, elevator music, sort quarter, sort of, I don't know. And um, we've talked about it a lot that we've been on YouTube, that we're going to be, we have been on YouTube and things. And, um, well, actually, we are on YouTube, but um, since, first of all, thank you, YouTube. I, I said I was not going to talk about the YouTube situation any longer, but that's the reason that we're playing this kind of, you know, weird, not, not weird, I mean, that's a good song and all, but, you know, it's not any... Um, what do you want to call it? Uh, what do we we play? It's not Usher. Uh, Usher, yeah. I don't know if we played. There was. One, you can ask Carlo the one one thing, and then we'll get started. There's every time I want to play. There's a there's a theme song, and it's like, um, it's kind of cool. It has like these. Um, I don't I don't know what to say. It's like these symphonic, uh, not symphonic. It's a synthesized thing deal at the front of a song that I look for. And it just so happens that there's a rap song by the same name, and it's 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 like this mix that somebody's done on YouTube, and they they have like the same, uh, you know, it's just some random computer screen or something because somebody's like uploaded a, a rap song from LimeWire or somewhere that they've put on YouTube uh, with a their own video mix, so it looks like the same thumbnail. So I never can differentiate, and I've actually bookmarked the wrong song. So for like the first five episodes of PV at Night, I would always think that I'd change the bookmark, but I hadn't. So the pro- I would start playing this rap song, and I'd have to start over because, you know, I, first of all, I don't really want a rap song at the beginning of uh, our podcast. And second of all, it's probably rice-free. Yeah, Carlo knows what I'm talking about. I'll be like, oh, crap, i got to restart the stream and everything. It's it's a mess. But this is Gadget Gurus episode 35. Um. Jacob is preparing to go on an extreme adventure later this week. Uh, Wednesday, he set me straight. I was, I kept saying, you know, I, I get confused because we do all these podcasts and, um, you know, I never can figure out, boy, is today Monday, you know, I mean, whatever. But today is Monday because that's when we do Gadget Gurus. And Jacob's going to be flying out on Wednesday, you said, at noon uh, to uh, Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show, which is essentially... Pretty much the biggest trade show in the industry of technology, and that's well, one of the reasons. Actually, I think Jacob just goes for the sheer fun factor, and then you know it's just kind of a side thing that we we love this stuff. So he's going to be able to um, get us some cool inside info, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, uh, that was kind of funny. Um, uh, but anyway, um, and Jacob is what we're going to do today. Uh, since you know Jacob is going to be having some fun down at CES, and it's going to be a lot of work, even though he's not, we're not going full-fledged this year, uh, for a couple of reasons, Jacob brought his, uh, what, the T1i last year, and, uh, he kind of scaled down a little bit, and, you know, but what we're trying to do is, in, in the next, May, I know it's going to be kind of a stretch next year, but in the next couple of years, I want to go with Jacob, and we'll get more comprehensive coverage, you know, we're still not going to, you know, I was looking at it, uh, Carla, I think you know who Todd Cochran is over at Tech Podcast, and what is it, geeknewscentral.com, our, our friend over at GNC, you know who I'm talking about, Jacob, five, five, four, exactly, and uh, he, he does a great podcast, and they, they cover it every year, um, and they do a great job. This is like their seventh year, some something crazy like that. And he he carried fourteen, or he shipped out fourteen of the large, um, you know the the new UPS boxes that they introduced not too long ago, yeah. uh, for the standard rate shipping or whatever. Ship it anywhere. Yeah, ship it anywhere. Uh, flat he, rate shipments. Yeah, flat flat rate. That's it. And <laughs> he sent out fourteen of those huge boxes. I mean, those things are massive. I mean, he's he's carrying a TriCaster and all this stuff. Now, granted, they do have a booth. Like, you know how Leo had... Uh, uh, yeah, you know. Um, but essentially, Jacob's going to be doing maybe not exactly as high quality as he had, but we're still going to have the live capabilities and everything. Um, and what we're going to... First of all, I guess we can kind of um, introduce, before we kind of get into everything, because I haven't really... We, we just worked this out really yesterday. I mean, well, I think Jacob knew what he was going to do, but I didn't actually know because I've just been talking out of, you know, sheer talking... Uh, without Jacob's, you know, consent about what he's going to do, but essentially, Jacob is going to carry his, um, his net top, 
Uh, but we'll, actually, we'll get into this. Yeah, he's going to... Actually, should we... I don't know. Because I don't want to give away what you're going to be carrying. How about we show off the gadgets, and then you can kind of... We can kind of talk about the form, how we're going to be going live after. You want to do right. that? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but... <laughs> Today, Jacob is going to be talking about the gadgets and uh, all the things that he's going to be using to cover CES, which some of you guys are going to be kind of surprised after I said 14 boxes, how little Jacob is going to be able to carry and um, get us some good content. Uh, So, um, yeah, I guess we'll turn it over to Jacob and see what he has in store for us. So, uh, as you all know, I'm going to CES Wednesday, and... uh, we decided to uh, cover it a little. Pardon my throat. It's kind of nasty right now. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm just going to go over a couple of things that we're going to be uh, using uh, while I'm at CES to cover the show live. And also uh, post uh, yeah. stuff, too. Because uh, I'll probably do some recording of certain things, maybe post it up there, take some pictures, whatever. Yeah. Um, so the first thing... Uh, that, uh, of course, you know, requires to, like, be able to do stuff. Uh, I'm going to have my, my netbook, my HP uh, Mini. Uh, if you've uh, watched Gadget Gurus before, you've seen me review this on here. Yeah. It was a uh, impulse buy at Costco. <laughs> but um, now, granted, it was, it was needed because didn't you say you left your, your other one out in the rain or something, uh, you said? Yeah, um, um, at a classified location. Yeah. And um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a pretty sweet uh, netbook. I'll use this as my entertainment slash actual work. So yeah, and my camera likes to go out of focus. Come on, there you go. So um, and then it goes back out. <laughs> Don't shine the screen at the camera. There you go. Come on, there you go. Okay. So um, netbook, uh, all that junk. Uh, word of advice, uh, don't, I think, uh, the conference center has Wi-Fi. Right. But don't use their Wi-Fi, because it's horrible. Right. Also, because <laughs> you have to understand, there's like, what, like 4,000 people using their Wi-Fi? And, you know, uh, just to chime in here, you know, these guys, these are not the your, your standard... You know, conference guys. I mean, now, granted, if you're at McDonald's or somewhere, you don't expect you know everybody to be using it, or even at some conference. But this is this is CES you're talking about. All these people um, have the actual uh, uh, what I, the weird phenomenon that I've never actually personally experienced it before. Like being right. in this the like whatever you want to call it the uh, the apex core of the like like main happening. Yeah. Uh, last year at CES. Uh, they bre- they pretty much brought down Twitter from like tweeting all the time about stuff. Uh, Twitter was horrible. Oh, which Twitter was just like not just starting, but it wasn't as strong as it is now. Right. But um, they did uh some pretty good damage to it. Uh, there was a couple of times where I couldn't even like like people were uh not able to make cell phone calls on some places. Uh. Just because it was so congested right there, the cell towers couldn't handle 4,000 people calling and texting all at the same time. And uh, all those It's pretty crazy. 4, you gotta you got to think about that and keep yourself active somehow so that you don't get in that. Um, yeah. So hopefully hopefully I'll be uh, uh, ready for it now. And uh, since there's – I think it's like gone up by like tenfold now. I think it's like the number – of people that are on Twitter now that are uh, in Foursquare and stuff like that that are going to be at CES or something crazy that I don't know. But um, okay. Uh, the other thing, of course, with a laptop comes a if I can get it comes a charger. And of course, I'm going to wrap this up all nice and pretty, but uh, uh, you know. My battery lasts pretty long in that HP Mini, but it doesn't last that long, especially if I'm running around like crazy uh, with a 4G uh, thing attached to it, which I'll show you later. Um, it will use a lot of power. Uh, luckily, there's uh, plugs all around the, the conference floor, so I could you know, cozy up to a, the back of a uh, uh, 
support beam uh, or something. Yeah, a, a wharf, uh, a wharf, a wall or something, and uh, get all up in that thing and plug in and all that stuff. Um, the other thing is, uh, uh, there's always people there that are really nice enough to, uh, like, provide charging stations for your cell phones and stuff. Like HTC did it last year. Uh, they sort of like commandeered the the subway uh, platform or the monorail platform. So right when you came in, you're greeted by HTC with free coffee and uh, charging of your phones, which it's good at the end of the day. But at the beginning of the day, you should have your phone already charged. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're going to charge your phone in the morning, you're, you should deserve to have your phone. Back. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, then we also have the... Uh, uh, Sprint 4G, 3G, uh, internet thing. Um, as a side note, uh, my company is deciding to uh, to uh, have a hybrid cell service with Sprint or T-Mobile. So, uh, but the thing with that is that you don't get new uh, new uh, things. You're just going to give us tethering on our phones, which you can do with any Android phone for free. <laughs> which Dave has been doing for two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, if it comes down to it, I could probably, uh, I don't know if I, 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 if I could actually do that or not, but, um, back in the day, you could take two, uh, wireless signals and, um, what's it called, uh, multi, uh, bond them or something? Yeah, multi-link them together or whatever, multi-thread them together, and then you could get, like, two times as fast internet, um, oh, sadly with my 4G, uh, it doesn't really work too well with the USB plug-in, but... Maybe uh. So maybe that's some. that's if I you did use that that same 4G thing when you uh, went live coming home from Arkansas, right? Yeah, but there was really bad service and it wasn't 4G. Oh, okay, um, yeah, but it was only 3G and it was spotty coverage. So um, hopefully you will get 4G in Vegas. Yes, maybe. Vegas will have 4G. Um, <laughs> it's uh, hopefully. Everybody and their brother's not going to be on it, but they might be. We'll see how that works out. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be bringing is uh, uh, my Microsoft Live uh, Cam. Uh, it works really well. Uh, I'm contemplating not bringing my uh, Samsung mic, the big old massive guy here. Yeah. Um, just because it's going to be very awkward to have to carry that around. Um, and I pretty much have to be at a table uh, to do this because it would be so much stuff. This I could pretty much like rubber band or duct tape to my like laptop and just walk around my laptop or hold this and have my laptop in my backpack because it has a microphone built on it. Right. It's a pretty decent mic. It's not the best in the world, but it gets the job done. Uh, but you know, let's. I mean, let's. See. Oh yeah, and of course the 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 key thing for. Uh, doing uh, picture logging and all that stuff, photo blogging or whatever you want to call it, is uh, my Evo. And we might actually try to go uh, live via the Evo one day uh, because it's got a Justin uh, TV app up here that I can broadcast live. So, so that's, one of the, goes. that's one of the cool things, um, first off, since I was trying to talk about this earlier. Um, about being able to cover CES live because now nowadays you have so many mobile technologies you have your 4G card not only that but also now you have simply an application that we can dial into the stream that runs 24/7 and you can go live on the same page not having to do anything yeah um the, one problem with that is uh throughout the day I'm going to have to shut off the stream so Jacob will have access because it doesn't auto switch, which I kind of wish was a capability that we could have. But you know, I mean, pre-recorded. Most of you guys either download the episode or watch it live. So pre-recorded is just kind of a way that we get hits off Justin.tv and hopefully get. Um, it's more of an advertising method, I would call it, than rather, you know, anything else. Um. So Jacob's going to be able to go live on live.pbcasttv.com. So the easiest way is what I'm going to do. Justin.tv has the um, uh, the thing to, whenever we go live, to tweet. And it'll say, 
PBCast TV is now live, so I'll probably say Jacob is now live from the CES floor or something. That way, you know, it'll everyone on Twitter who follows PBCast TV, and I'll, uh, you know, we can pipe it to other Twitter accounts as well. Yeah. Um, it'll say, you know, Jacob's live. So Jacob doesn't have to do anything to tell everybody that he's live. He simply goes live because it's going to be uh, a thing, uh, spot, I don't, what would you call it, like spot coverage or something? So Jacob's going to be on yeah. the show floor. It'll be like little little burst of uh, coverage. Um, mm-hmm. I might might give like maybe like a summary uh, or something going on maybe or something. Uh, like Nick said, uh, next year we're going to try to get a little bit more professional with it. Uh, you know, not carry a, a Microsoft Life Cam around. Yeah. Um, because people tend to not really take you that seriously when you hold a webcam in their face. Um, even though it still looks just as good as any old other camera that you'd stick in their face. Yeah. Uh, you know, they just don't picture that. Yeah. And uh, um, hopefully I'll be able to go next year. And we're looking at a one to two year, maybe even three year time span that I will be able to go because... Depends on my schedule and when I can go and whenever CES. They move it up. Jay, you said that they move it up a day next year that it starts. Well, it's, it still stays on uh, Thursday through Sunday. Yeah, but it would be a new date. Yeah. Switch yeah. Because of the year. So I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll have to look and, you know, this is. I don't know when there's going to be a leap year next, so. Yeah, okay. Well, it, depends, it depends on the date and when I have to go back to school because <laughs> I went back to school today, so there's no way I could go this year. Uh, but anyway. Uh, and the cool thing, one more thing about Justin.TV is they cache all of our recordings or all of our live streams for, you know, like three days or something. And Carlo's asking in the chat room, will it be available on YouTube? And that's one of the great things about Justin.TV is not only, I probably won't auto-upload it because they use their server stuff and it doesn't make it HD, um, you know, or, or h- the highest quality possible. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, it'll there'll be a little time frame. Uh, I'll probably, you know, stick a little bumper at the beginning so everybody will know it's PBCast TV Live from CES or whatever. Um, but yes, it will go on YouTube, youtube.com slash PBCast TV, like all of our other video content, because uh, YouTube is becoming our main hub for video content. Yeah, and um, the the live streams, will, which will end up turning into video clips, yeah. they'll end up basically becoming like, just like little mini reviews of different products. I think is the way I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to be streaming live, walking around the show floor. Yeah, because one uh, thing takes too much bandwidth, and Jacob doesn't want to be holding his camera up all the time. You know? Yeah, and I don't know what kind of coverage of 4G I'm actually going to get inside the convention center. Um, it should be halfway decent, but uh, I'm pretty much going to walk up to something I think is cool and just start streaming live and say, okay, I'm here with uh, uh, at the blah, blah, blah booth, and they got this really cool thing. See? Okay, see you later. No, and the cool, no, yeah, and the cool thing is, um, if, if that doesn't work, we always have a plan B, which is record locally. You know, if you can't yeah. go live, you could just say, all right, here's a two-minute <laughs> clip on my Evo. And we tested out, uh, you know, a long time ago when Jacob got his Evo, and it does HD. You know, not exactly that great, but it does HD well enough to watch it on YouTube and yeah, to not be, because, you know, YouTube downgrades and everything. Um, which is great, and I think this is going to turn out very well because, I mean, we're using, we're, we have not bought anything, or Jacob has not bought anything for CES to use. I mean, you might have bought those headphones, but I think you just bought those for... Yeah, I bought, I bought these just to have more comfortable headphones yeah. because my $20 Sony headphones were not very comfortable. Yeah. And, so I, I bought mean, the $50 Sony headphones, <laughs> and now they're more comfortable. Yeah. Um, and the great thing is we're doing this on pretty much a zero budget turnaround which is extreme i i don't think any other podcast network can say that you know jacob spent money on this stuff but i mean it's stuff that he has for everyday use anyway you know yeah um and then jacob's point you know he i know i know your uh your lodging probably costs a bit but um you know plane ticket i think you got you had some sky miles that you've no, used no i have uh, to pay for that too oh you you did yeah. Okay. I wasn't this lucky. Last year, I was. it was only like $10. Uh, this year, it's a little bit more expensive. Well, it's granted, it's still. Yeah. And hopefully next year, um, I'm, I, I've told Jacob, I'm, I'm working on getting some other people. Because uh, we use, uh, I know we're just rambling here, but we use Audible, and it's a CDN network, which means we get paid when people use our Audible subscription fee. Which is great and all, but I mean, we don't, how many people who either watch our programming, either use Audible already and things, 
because we've talked about it so much and there's so many different things you have to do to get to our audible feed and everything and it's every day you know i couldn't check every day if it works because i'm not gonna buy you know anyway so what we're probably gonna do we're either have uh, i'm working out we either have like ten dollar ad spots a month which granted that's not a that's not a lot of money compared to a lot of other podcast networks but our sheer thing is we want to bring it we want to be able to uh buy the things that we need for production hopefully little to none not out of our pocket that would be our goal, to be able to buy, you know, maybe like a, Jacob had recommended yesterday, say a prosumer HD camcorder, maybe like a, a Canon or something, maybe even like one of those Panasonic, you know, um, HD cameras that are pretty, pretty good size ones. And then that way, um, and the cool thing about covering CES is this, the equipment that we would use for CES, presumably, especially when I went, because, you know, it's easier to have a two-man crew than a one-man crew and everything. Um, that we could use back in the studio, whether at Jacob's house or uh, at my house, back in during the year. So this this equipment's not just going to sit there, because you know if we had a, a prosumer camera or something that could always use be used uh, to stream video and record YouTube videos and all that good stuff. Um, so you know that's what you're looking at this year. Um, it's really hard to kind of say what is going to be covered because you know we we can say that there's going to be a lot of tablets this year. I mean, we can pretty much we pretty much know that we know that Windows, uh, Microsoft, well, not Windows, Microsoft is going to be there, displaying their new Windows uh, for ARM chips. I think it is, um, which is going to be interesting. So I mean, I'm sure. But Jacob, um, one of the cool things about CES is, yeah, Microsoft's there, Google's there, you know, uh, Skype is there, all those big companies are there. But the cool thing is. There's a lot of little companies that Jacob likes to look at, you know, the people from Japan and things that have spent, you know, all of their this year's revenue or whatever that they've made on their uh, on their product going to CES, buying a booth and everything. They only have one prototype, but they're there and it's kind of like the deal with what was that thing called last year? The uh, the dual screen uh, ebook oh, yeah. reader that a lot of people were hyped up about, which never yeah. actually came out. But, you know, that was one of those deals where a lot of people covered it and uh it was kind of, you know, something that we weren't expecting last year because we, you know. Um, yeah, the uh, the Asian market, they come up with some pretty strange things. that <laughs> they, they, They're they willing to push the envelope on the techno- technological world. Um, so you never know what to expect with them. Uh, they, they tend to think outside the box that some people might not want to go down that route because they might lose a bunch of money, but they're willing to invest a lot of money to to test out that theory to see if it works and it's normally pretty cheap so well you know relatively cheap economical sense yeah which is cool um and the cool thing one more thing is uh with the spot coverage um it's going to limit editing on either mine or jacob's end because it's just going to be things he's going to start the camera and when it gets done he's going to say all right see you guys later boom it's over uh it's going to be on justin or if if possible and then later jacob could compile the clips or I think I had thrown around like using a posture so we'll set out I'll, I'll uh I'm gonna send Jacob all the credentials that we need for that kind of stuff if that's needed uh, but it's gonna be really exciting because this stuff is gonna go up uh literally uh, I can't say minutes because I'm gonna be at school unfortunately during most of the day um but then again it is on pacific time right or mountain yeah. time so uh I guess while I'm at the show you'll probably be home yeah, so, for most of it, at least. For most of it, yeah. yeah. So that will be good. Um, so most of the content will be going on later that night when Jacob covers it, or later in the afternoon, uh, depending on the time difference. That is one good thing that we have, is we're almost, uh, you know, what is it, three hours? I guess we're two hours behind. Yeah, uh, two hours yeah, or something. Or two hours ahead of them, so we do have a time uh, differential that could play a, fa- a part in uh, this thing. But... Um, Carlo was asking, and we were talking about my PC, so now I have a full-time editing PC that can just sit here and edit away, and I can do whatever I want around the house. So um, I'm very excited about that because um, I've been wanting to do a lot more YouTube videos, and it's going to come in really handy with stuff like this because I, I can just render a project and then render another project and then you know have them uploading simultaneously to YouTube and all this stuff. Um, so it's going to be fun. And I think another good thing about having uh, using Justin.tv 
and Jacob's phone is it's going to be relatively small upload time or a smaller upload time. And I think if Jacob uses Posturus, if he has to record locally, pretty much Posturus uh, does the processing on their servers. So you just kind of send the email, and they're like, oh, okay, here's, here's the stuff we need to upload, uh, which is good, because then we can link it to our YouTube account and everything, which is auto-publishing, which would be great. Um, and then also, we're dealing with, you know, we're not dealing with 500 megabyte, gigabyte files, you know, yeah. which, which if we use the T1i or my Pentax KX, I mean, I record a two-minute video, and what, that's like 400, 500 megabytes at least. Yeah, and then you can't really... Uh you can't really go live with the T1i. I mean, you could with the EOS software, but yeah. and then you're running your battery down. You gotta have batteries, yeah. and it's just one thing after another. Yeah, the no. webcam barely uses any power. Uh, the thing I think the thing that's gonna be using the most power on all of this is gonna be the 4G and uh, card. Yeah. Um, I say that just because it gets it puts out some serious heat on some 3G. Um, the connector gets pretty warm. Uh, which equates to using a lot of power. Um, so uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, and it's really just going to be stop and go for, you know, at least for the, how many, or is it three days or two days? that the It's, it's going to be Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so I'll I be think, at home for Saturday. So. I think Sunday, but I won't be there. So I'll be leaving Sunday. Yeah, so they, it'll I be think... three days of show. I think what they do, like, press conferences or something, Sunday or something, something, it's not, the show, I don't think the show floor is open, right? I don't yeah, really I'm know. Not. But anyway, um, but it's going to be really fun. It's going to take, uh, Jacob's going to be whooped, I'm sure, just from simply walking around and um, plus adding coverage. So I want to limit uh, the, you know, pretty much I'm just, we just want him to get all the content that he can and then, you know, don't worry about processing later. Yeah, plus I'm going to try to participate in whatever contest they have, of course. Yeah, which which is how Jacob won the Podzilla. Yeah, so, and, uh, uh, yeah, pretty much the stand, the, uh, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, like I said before, uh, there's going to be a lot more competition there this year. Uh, I think substantially more people are, haven't looked at the actual numbers on Twitter, um, of how many people are actually following International CES now on Twitter. Um, we're talking about, uh, they have 15,000 followers now. Wow. Um, I think last year they had like 1,500. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, tenfold. Um, on Foursquare, um, there's going to be substantially more people up on Foursquare, which... I'll check in just to get the CES badge, but besides that, I probably won't really be checking in with Foursquare anywhere. Yeah, and I think Gawal is going to be there, so that would be interesting, too. Yeah, which, um, I asked International CES if they had any Gawala pins, and they said no. Um, That's kind of But weird. maybe Gawala will, might be doing their own little thing. But Hopefully they will. Right. Maybe they'll have something. Yeah. That you can only get at CES. Hopefully. Um, and Jacob, I think you might be going for the the Swarm badge too, maybe if you can possibly. Oh yeah. Um, which is a coveted badge on Foursquare. What is it like? A thousand people checked in at once or something? Yeah. And uh, what is it? Uh, Bree off of uh, MakerBot. He's got like super Swarm badges and stuff like that. Jeez. Which is like ridiculous, but yeah. but they'll be there. MakerBot will be there. I think uh, Shapeways might be there. I think I think we are. I think Shapeways. We are. I think you said they might be there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. So, Oprah's gonna be there. Who is? Oprah. Oh, Oprah's gonna be. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Oprah. I, I, I joke jokingly said, uh, and this is a joke, just in case she has some kind of like auto filter thing, scouring our podcast, seeing <laughs> that there's death threats. I, I jokingly said that I was going to go up to her booth and punch her in the face. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you know, I might go to jail, but yeah. then you could go to jail and be like, "So what are you in here for?" And the guy's like, "I raped somebody." <laughs> like, what are you in here for? I killed somebody. And they'd be like, what are you in here for? And I'd be like, I punched Oprah in the face. <laughs> that and they'd be like, dude. You're awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Carlos she has that... power to send every one of her audience members to Australia. And you punched her in the face. <laughs> wow. She Carlos... gave chicken to every person in America. <laughs> and you punched her in the face. Yeah. Carlos saying in the chat room, 
It's kind of funny. <laughs> He's saying ask for a free iPad because remember the iPad is her number one gadget, and she gave away how you know however many people were at her live show that day. She gave. I'll just go up to her and be like, Hey, Oprah, can I have an iPad? Yeah, where's my iPad, Oprah? Um, and one other thing I'm very happy about is Jacob, you're going to be there for no, yeah, you're going to be there for Tech Weekly, right? Yeah. So, um, what we're going to use Tech Weekly for, because that's going to be your last night there. No, wait. No, you'll be there Saturday. So, that'll be the yeah. night before your last day, which is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> I know that was pr- probably kind of confusing. But um, the cool thing is, what we'll probably use Tech Weekly about, I'm sorry if you don't like CES, if you don't like new gadgets, I'm sorry, but uh, it's kind of our duty to cover CES all this week. I guess you could tune into PB at night because we may be talking about CES, but probably uh, less less than we will be on the other two shows. But um, the cool thing is Jacob is going to be joining us for Tech Weekly on Saturday after. Uh, oh wait, should we do that on Friday night? I keep what? I guess you're probably going to want to be on the show floor. Well, on, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see when uh, the tweet up is. Uh, see, this is this is going to present problems. Let's see, tweet up. Uh, I guess we could do it Saturday night, but depending. Uh, that is January seventh, which so that's Friday night. Okay, so you probably don't want to do it on Friday night. Um, which is only uh, four to seven, which is really early. Yeah, but then again, it's their time. Yeah, but it's still. Oh yeah. Hmm. But yeah, okay. Seven to um, nine. So yeah, Friday. We'll probably do that Saturday then. We'll probably do Tech Weekly Saturday. Like. Do you want to do it on, like, in the morning? Because, I mean, are you going to be wanting to go to uh, the show floor again? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we could do it whenever, yeah. So, I mean, no, well, we need to figure it out. So, I could do that. I could do Tech Weekly from the show floor. That could work, and you could just be and, like, like have Leo Laporte in the background or something. <laughs> be like, all right, Leo, shut up. We're doing a podcast Yeah, here. Leo, be quiet. We're doing a podcast, man. All right, so, yeah, Jacob, I, so what we're going to be doing is I guess we're going to be going live for uh, Tech Weekly on Saturday. Uh, not sure what time. Of course, that'll be posted on Twitter and everything. Uh, you know, you'll know. Uh, we have our distribution methods where you'll we know. get all this stuff worked out. Uh, but I'm really excited about doing Tech Weekly because, you know, I mean, it's really the first time. See, we kind of missed out last year because I guess we started podcasts about February or late January. It was right after you got back from CES, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right, like, exactly right after, which I think was one of the big things when we started doing Tech Weekly, because, you know, just awesome things, like uh, CES and stuff like that, but we kind of lucked out, or we kind of, not lucked out, but we we were kind of unlucky that Jacob did not get to, uh, you know, get some content from last year, because a lot of stuff went on last year, and I'm expecting a lot more this year, uh, which is great, because, you know, technology always uh, is getting better and evolving and things, so... And it was actually, it's really weird to uh, go to one of these conferences or the trade shows and see the stuff actually come to the market. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's really weird uh, to actually, like, dude, I touched that when, like, people were just trying to, like, like push it to people. And, like, like the stuff they have at Radio Shack, the uh, the little GAC stuff that you use to clean up your electronics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Like, I, I saw that. They were giving away, like, little free packets. But it was, like, only, like, if you promised to, like, sell their stuff or something. I don't know. But uh, it was just kind of cool to see, like, all that stuff, like the LED TVs and stuff like that come Which to the market, were, yeah. like, within the year. Like, within half the year. And it was it was pretty cool to see all that happen. Yeah, especially in the past few years, except for last year. But, you know, in, uh, in the earlier 2000s and late 90s when uh, CES was kind of... You know, on a smaller trade show. I mean, it's it's just pretty much about the biggest trade show you can possibly go to for our industry now. Yeah. Um, you know, back then there was a ton of vaporware, and now, granted, there's you know probably eighty nah, percent. I don't know how much you think is vaporware. At CES. Yeah. Uh, well, it really all depends if someone picks it up. True. Because yeah, uh, I guess you're right. Yeah. Uh, but if you're meeting like stuff that doesn't actually work the way they're showing it at CES. Sure. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Sure. Uh, we'll say. Um. That. Uh, I would say maybe like, maybe like thirty percent. Okay. So because because I mean there's there's a lot of stuff there that you know it's pretty sweet and of course you know everybody's gonna make sure their product works for the show. Right. They're not I gonna just show right, up yeah. and 
expect it to work. It's more of the smaller companies that have, you know, not the non-working or whatever um, deals. So that that is always, uh, you know, it's really developed. Like Jacob said, uh, I was actually very surprised, as Jacob was as well, that we saw those uh, LED TVs come out. You know, I guess it was summer or something. Which just, this year, you know what you're going to see. Um, it's, it's inevitable of what you're going to see. You're either going to see one of two things. This is my prediction for CES. Uh, at CES, you're either going to see uh, 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 glass, glass listless require, uh, whatever, 3D displays where you don't have to have any kind of glasses or anything to see the 3D screen. Which they had, uh, Samsung had, or Sony had a display last year, but it was one of those like, Okay, yeah, we made this for the show, and, you know, it was like this thick, and it wasn't ready for the consumer market. You're either going to see that in, like, a thin display that's, like, ready to be brought out this year, like, in some quarter of some sort, or you're going to see uh, the actual uh, uh, the LED TV, like, true LED TVs. Like, um, full LED not the ones with the Not the ones with the LED backlight, with the LCD panel actual LED TVs. So, um, which that's going to open up a lot of stuff uh, when they do that. Uh, but someone's someone's going to have to front that technology in order to get it out of the market. And uh, Panasonic or Samsung is going to be the ones to do that because they had the biggest boost. Uh, Samsung, of course, had their massive um, LCD screen dome Oh yeah, that was cool. When he first wasn't that like right around the the entrance or somewhere. Or yeah, like, it was. Uh, when you went in between like Concourse C and to the other one, yeah. they had like this big old dome. And, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, and they had like one displaying tweets and all kinds of other stuff, and like it was cool. I don't remember. Yeah, that. they had their they had their uh, LED TVs, the OLED TVs yeah. that were literally like, uh, I mean, eighth of an inch thick all together. Hmm. Um, but that gets a bunch of other stuff, like how are you going to plug stuff into it, right? different things like that. So <laughs> um, the power supplies don't really allow you yeah. yet to get that small and stuff. So I think one of the – we're at a point in technology, especially in TV and display technology and things, where we have gotten to the point where we, we can only go so thin because our connectors support, you know. I mean, it oh, has yeah. to be thick enough for an HDMI port to go in because that's the latest – display technology port that we have you know it has to be big enough for a dvi port to you know have you know the pins to go in i mean it's just crazy how how we've actually got to that point i mean thinking back five years ago we had crt monitors we were going on led uh, you know plasmas and everything i mean we've it's come a long way and that's that's one of the cool things about technology you know i mean eh, sports and things that you know i guess they evolve over time Technology, you can look back three years ago, and we're talking about totally different things, you know? I mean, we're talking about, you know, much slower computers. We're talking about Windows XP, <laughs> Vista, you know. Now we're on Windows 7, which works great. And every, I mean, it's, it's really cool to see how all this stuff comes together. And uh, that's one of the things that we're going to be seeing at CES. Uh, one thing I've been toying around with is I'm not sure if we're going to make a, a feed for CES or call it... Uh, I've toyed around calling it something like PBCast TV Specials. That way it kind of opens up because, uh, granted, we may be, I don't know, we may cover other things in the future. So that way we wouldn't have to make a new feed. I guess we could always transfer the name of it, but whatever. Uh, it'll be evident when you go on our website that this is a CES exclusive deal or whatever that we have. Um, and, you know, you'll, you'll be able to tell by the short form videos as well. They're not going to be like hour long videos. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it'll be evident, but I, I have that's really um, just one of my personal decisions uh, that I have to make. Um, like I said, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think Jeb's going to get some good hands-on time uh, with a lot of different technologies. Um, I'm, I'm interested, I know Carlo is, and I'm interested to see some of the tablet, the new tablet technologies, because the Galaxy Tab is really the only Android tablet that I really feel comfortable recommending right now. You know, it's it, the Arcoses are okay, and you know everything, but really, it's it's the leading Android tablet in my opinion uh, yeah. for everything. And I want to see some newer Android tablets, and I want to see uh, 
you know, maybe a, a diverse range of screen real estate because I, I, I've played with a Galaxy Tab and I like the 7 inch uh, s screen instead of the 10 inch or 9.7 or whatever the iPad is. But I kind of like it because it, it's, um, I know we're, I'm getting off on a tangent, but it, you can actually finger type or not finger type, uh, thumb type like you would on like your, uh, your Evo or an iPhone or something. And the iPad is just, uh, at least for my thumbs at least and probably most other people, you can you can't even you know it comes with the that would, you know it comes with the the vertical keyboard but you can't exactly finger type or thumb type with it which is kind yeah. of a bummer but I think the seven inch tablet is like right around there where you have enough real estate but yet the the apps scale like perfectly um so we'll see I think uh, yeah uh, Carlos really interested in the Tegra two which I think is an Nvidia deal or something Nvidia chipset maybe I'm not quite sure. Um, which is, it, you know, it's a graphics processing, uh, thing that, uh, they use for tablets. They've already came out with the Tegra 1, and it wasn't really widely adopted, but that was really before, um, Android took off. Uh, you know, we've seen a huge growth in, in Android. It really has the market share now. I think they said, uh, Android's activating, what, 300 hand, 300,000 handsets a day now? I think that's what Google said right before the holiday season, which is just amazing to think where Jacob was a year, I guess almost just a year ago, running 1.5 or, was it a year ago? I guess it was maybe a little bit longer, but one, you know, coming from 1.5 to where it is now, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure anybody could predict predicted that. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, so I think we're going to see a lot of that. Uh, I mean, I guess all we can really say is wait till we make, the, wait till Jacob brings us the videos, because, I mean, we can speculate and everything, but, uh, a lot of the things uh, are going to be surprises. You know, I'm sure Jacob will be able to find some some cooler things, uh, like you talked about, maybe on the Asian market or whatever. <laughs> you know, they might not ever hit market. <laughs> Jacob's like, Jacob, Jacob was telling me yesterday, he he might try to pick up some prototypes for like 20 bucks or something. And be like, oh, yeah, you want to give me <laughs> so maybe oh, that. Hey, at the last day of the show, when, they, when they're all packing up, ready to go, oh, um, they, yeah, they don't want to ship that stuff. Yeah, they don't want to ship that stuff home. Which they don't really have to ship stuff home. Yeah. But they want to make some money too. Yeah. Because if nobody buys their product, then they walk away with nothing. And they spend all the money on the booth, getting there, everything. Yeah. And um, so like like the guy that was there that had the uh, the USB like thing that you plug it in the computer and hook it up to the other computer with the USB plug, and it lets you go. Oh, file transfer. Between multi-platform computers just by moving your mouse. That's cool. He was going to sell it to me for like $35, but I didn't have it. I didn't have $35, yeah. which technically they kind of frown at you selling stuff because you're technically not supposed to, but you know how that goes. Yeah. So, but I plan on bringing cash yeah. just for fun. <laughs> just in case, yeah. um, especially on the last day. I mean, I'm just worn out talking about it already, and <laughs> I just can't imagine how Jacob's gonna, how much of Jacob's gonna be worn out. You know, I mean, he'll probably be worn out on Saturday. Cause that'll be the end of the. You know, I'll be worn out on Wednesday by flying up there. Yeah, that, that's gonna be the problem because you're gonna have. You said you're flying through Dallas, I think, for a couple hours, layover in Dallas or something. I I've, I figured out. Um, I'm going Memphis then Dallas. Oh, okay. And then Los Angeles or Las Vegas. I forgot. I was like, well, how am I flying now? Yeah. But, so, yeah. you know, so <laughs> that might be the most tiring part of the trip. <laughs> the flight over, I don't, I don't know. but It's uh, much better when you can go with uh, with Sky Miles where you spend $10 on your whole ticket because then you have the luxury of upgrading yeah. to, uh, like, first class. But sometimes you can't because uh, it's, the plane rides over there are normally pretty booked. Uh, Just because it's Las Vegas, you know. Yeah, Las Vegas is normally pretty booked uh, flights when you're going out, so you normally don't have room to upgrade. Like they're normally like packed completely out. Uh, but be cool. Yeah. So I mean, you can tell it's gonna be awesome. I am stoked. I know Jacob's stoked. Carlo is stoked. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of um, podcasters and you know uh, older form media, you know TV and radio personnel and all those guys. They're gonna be there. Uh, there's going to be smaller people like us and the tech buzz, and I think computability, they're going, right? Yeah, I think they are. 
Uh, who else is going? Chris Perillo's going. Uh, of course, Leo's going. I think they're going out there on Thursday. I think they're going the day of the show or something. Uh, I mean, just a ton of people are going to be out there. And this this is, I mean, if you're, if you're a geek, you have to... <laughs> You have to go, you know, I mean, well, you don't have to, but you know what I mean. I mean, this is, this is like, you know how if uh, on Foursquare or something, you get, you get badges. This is uh, a virtual badge or a, an, indi- uh, an invisible badge that you wear on your, on your geek, uh, geek self, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you, anyway, in my opinion, you need to go to CES if you have the chance. I know for people like Carlo. Which we might have uh, a handful of people actually go next year. Uh, the way people are talking, but you know how people talk, so. People are talking? What? Yeah. Um, I've heard from a couple people that well, they wanted to go. Um, ah, we may have to employ them. <laughs> so. Hey, you work for free. And <laughs> yeah, you work for free. You actually give us $10 a day. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, what? Just be like, yeah, you'll be on YouTube. And they'll be like, oh, okay. But the benefits of more people going is the cheaper the room costs. So. Exactly, and the more coverage. Yes, it's free if you register enough time. Yeah. So. And if you get a press badge. Yeah. Which we may do one day. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know how that works. I might. I don't know. Anyway. See, we're already planning for next year, and this one hasn't <laughs> happened yet. But anyway, this is gonna be a ton of fun, and you know, just stay tuned throughout the week. I mean, I can't even believe it's here. You know. I mean, I was. I was saying, wow, Christmas is here, but now CES is here. I'm like, what? Um. But I, actually, I'm kind of, you know, I said at the beginning of the show, I kind of miss doing shows over the Christmas break, but I'm probably going to be, you know, uploading video all week, so um, I'm going to, you know, I'll probably uh, learn to cope with that time off or, you know, respect that time off now since we got this big week coming up, but it's going to be uh, awesome. Um, uh, but yeah, I guess you can follow all of the CES coverage on pbcasttv.com. Like I said, if Jacob can or has the possibility, he has the possibility, but if he if he has the opportunity to go live, it's going to be at live.pbcasttv.com. Uh, if I'm here, uh, Jacob, it, also, if, if we can't get, if I'm here, you know, I, I'm sure you'll, you, you'll know if I'm here or not, but um, if, if we have the capabilities and you can, if, you know, if I'm here, that opens a lot more opportunities that if you can't go live from Justin, if it's a Justin.tv problem or something, I'll be here. You can we can Skype in or something, something yeah. else. Um, it, it's all it's all a thing of me being here, uh, and I think I will be here, like Jacob said, since the time differential. Um, but we'll see. I guess we'll just have to wait for see what time the show. You know how long Jacob's on the show for and things. Uh, you can follow Jacob on Twitter. He'll you know he'll be tweeting all of CES. Well, not all of CES, but you know. Yeah, and uh, Matthew Cleveland will unfollow me on Twitter. <laughs> because you're tweeting too much. <laughs> is that what is that the deal? You're tweeting too much about it or something? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Twitter.com slash freaking huge F R E A K I N H U G E. Follow me on Twitter, uh Twitter dot com slash gosh, we went black. That was bad. Uh that Nick Jones. I just spelled it out. Uh, you know, T H A T N I C K J O N E S. Uh another great place to follow all of our uh, yeah, oops, that was my bad. Um, content on our channel is over at YouTube, youtube.com slash pbcasttv. Um, that's where all of our videos are going. I'm so happy. <laughs> I, 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 you, I think you guys have gotten the idea how happy I am to be on YouTube now. Uh, you just Google pbcasttv.com, you can find all this information. But, you know, also uh, twitter.com slash pbcasttv. That's really the, the key place to follow uh, because... Uh, that tells you just everything when we're going to be going live or when it, when we are live or whatever. You know, that's really the key place to follow. Uh, we do a number of shows uh, after this show. Uh, we do uh, PB at night, so if you're watching, stick around for that. And um, we do that three times a week. And we also have Tech Weekly, which we referred to earlier, which will be happening. And we always do it on Saturdays now, which I, I kind of like Saturday mornings. There's not as many shows and, you know, I mean, there's the occasional time we may have to do it on Fridays and things, but Saturday works pretty well because I have time to uh, research and everything. Uh, so I think that's going to work out well for Jacob. This week, um, like I said, you, uh, twitter.com slash pbcasttv is where you can find all of that stuff. Um, so there's our link spill that we go through every week. Uh, next week we will return with um, 
I guess a real or a more familiar Gadget Gurus episode. I'll probably be reviewing uh, some of my PC contents or a monitor or something. Something that I got new. I got a bunch of stuff new that I, that I can review. And I'm sure Jacob, if he picks up a gadget, uh, you know, he, he's probably got some around there too that he always has uh, s- sitting around uh, the old... Oh, yeah, there you go. New headphones that we'll be using at CES. And maybe, maybe he'll pick up something cool. I don't know. Maybe you'll score something for free. Well, actually, I know you'll score something for free. <laughs> Jacob said that uh, his dad last year was, like, getting everything free, <laughs> which kind of weighted him down. I think that's why one of the reasons why Jacob had a – y'all had a harder time navigating the floor. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, he, he was kind of, like, running from, like, one place to the other. Oh, look, free pencils, free bags, free pens, free pencils, free bags, free pens. I'm like, Dad, calm down. Uh, and he's like, look at all these bags that I got. I'm like, Dad, you have so many bags now. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. But that's really what uh, CES is all about. I, I understand. I mean, there's just going to be uh, any technology company you can think of is going to be there. And it's going to be so much fun. And I know Jacob's going to have fun. And I, I really want to go. You know, I, I just can't throw this year. But hopefully I'll be able to go one year. And uh, so, yeah. But that's in the future. But right now we need to focus on this year. So uh, we're pleased to be bringing you our first uh, live slash, well, any kind of coverage of CES other than I remember last year I sit at my desk and uh, read press releases for YouTube videos for about 20 minutes and then uploaded them in chunks. So that was our extent of our coverage. That was before we even had PBCast TV. That was on our U- old, older YouTube channel. Uh, I, I doubt many of you guys remember that. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think Jeb's going to have some fun. So uh, I guess that pretty much does it this episode of Gadget Gurus. Until next time, guys, I'm Nick Jones. I'm Jacob Roberts. And we are the Gadget Gurus. See you guys. See ya. Peace, 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 peace. Oh, yeah, peace. <laughs>